Parts of downtown Sacramento still in the dark this morning after an explosion yesterday at a smud power plant knocked out power to much of downtown. Rachel Wolf is live at Sacramento City Hall where many people had to spend the night after being evacuated. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning. Actually, we're about a half a block away. There's a huge generator right across the street. It's quite loud, and you can hear the hum of generators downtown. Yet, uh, many of the streets are dark, only really emergency lights in a lot of these office buildings around here after what happened yesterday. Uh, we all heard about the fire, a massive a fire that caused that massive outage, and many of the government buildings have experienced powerlessness as a result of it. The smud outage forced Sacramento Fire to declare a mandatory evacuation order for one senior housing complex on I Street, deemed unsafe with no power for its fire suppression system. The size of the evacuation is new for the SAC Fire Chief. Uh, this is the first time in my career here in Sacramento, where I've been over three years, that we've had this big of an evacuation. Uh, obviously, we're looking at approximately 12 blocks by five blocks is the blackout area. The outage was caused by that fire at a downtown SMUD substation yesterday morning. Besides downtown businesses, Sacramento County and federal courthouses were also forced to close. Hundreds of cases set for hearings and trials postponed. SMUD de-energized the power for the downtown area after that fire broke out. A Sacramento City fire investigation showed there is no evidence of arson or criminal intent. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, we'll hear from some of the people who have been displaced to find out what they're feeling this morning. And again, uh, it is pitch black down here, no street lights and, you know, people starting to pull in in terms of going to work. I've noticed that they did put an arrow down there. Um, I don't know if that's related to this or not, but some people just blowing through some of these stoplights. If you're not from here, you don't know where the stoplights are, but it might just be a good idea if you're heading down here and it's early, just go ahead and uh, drive pretty slowly and make those four-way stops so you don't have any accident. Man, yeah, yeah right. that could be a setup. All right. Thank you, Rachel.